What is up, YouTube? All right, today I have a package from Hangnail Handboards, my sponsor. Today I'm going to be unboxing this. Super stoked on getting another box from them. It's my second package from them. Uh, Brian was really quick and speedy to respond to my message, which I was really happy about. I just basically said, hey, my old boards, the trucks are getting rough. Uh, he responded quickly and saying, okay, we'll get more boards sent out to you, which is amazing. Now, this is the second boards they've made, the second line of them. It is the same graphics, but a decent, like, small things have been tweaked to make the boards better in that. Now, I was in a hurry when I got this package to run out and go do errands, so I might have already opened it. So, to make this a true unboxing, we're just gonna, just gonna tape it back up real quick. Just pretend this is how it was shipped, and then we're just gonna start the unboxing. <laughs> I'm sure you're all gonna be like that. You're stupid. But, I am super, super stoked to get this box. Super stoked to get a second box from the Pointless. As always, they send a note. Uh, Cody, give these a try in the sense of the boards and, like usual, a few little stickers with them. Which is awesome. I seem to stick them to almost everything in this room, which maybe not might not be a good thing. But we're going to start with the Ferocious. I always forget the name of this one. I don't know why. It's this one. Uh, obviously, the graphics have stayed the same. So I can't say much about the graphics. Because, you know, they're the same. And then I also got another Swirlicious, which is this one. Which, this one I do like. I, like. I like the graphic. But I'm super happy about the last one. Because I'm into more dark colors. I'm not a huge fan of bright popping. I'd rather take, like, a really dark, old-style Zero board over the cats flying through space, farting rainbows, and shooting lasers out of Pop-Tart. Because that's what the all the new board graphics seem to be going to. So this one is the Chillicious, which is like a blue smoke going over it. This is the next one I'm going to be playing with. Next one I'm going to be skating. So I'm going to open this one up. Uh, I'm going to take some close-up shots comparing the boards from each other. But as far as I know, a lot of the things that have changed are in the tools also. So I'd like to compare the tools. So let's get this opened up. Actually, surprisingly, this is just a cell pin this time. Uh, I don't know if anybody else has gotten one of the older hangnail hand boards. They had like a really hard plastic that cut me and it cut other people trying to get it open. But at first sight, the tools, the handles are different colors, the screwdrivers are a little bit different. Uh, what I was told is that these are made of a better material now, so they work better. Which is really good because you want a good tool to maintenance your board if you need to maintenance it. But, let's pop this puppy open. Um, I feel stupid. Oh wow, that's, that's way different. Okay. Um, another thing they were changing is the grip tape. Now, my grip tape is obviously worn. I don't have a new, older model to show you guys. If you see me looking down a little bit, I have a mirror behind my camera because I don't have a fold-out LCD, and I'm afraid that the camera's going to shut off. But they said that they made the grip tape less grippy this time, but to me, I don't know, it feels more grippy, maybe. Uh, I have to play with it and uh, see how it is first. But it feels more grippy compared to, like, these ones. Now, these have been drawn on, they've been thrown in the dirt and tossed around a bunch, like, as you can tell. But, I, I'm happy that these feel more grippy because I've told multiple people before, I'm an auto mechanic, so my hands are cut, bruised, scraped, burned all the time. So, I don't get cut as easy as other people on my hands, so a grippier board is what I really wanted compared to, like, dulling out the grip tape like most people do, sanding it down. So I just, that, that's awesome. Now, if I get more subscribers, I'm gonna obviously hang on to these, the used ones. I'm not gonna throw them away, I'm not wasteful, I'm not stupid. But in the future, if my subscribers go up or if my Instagram followers go up, so make sure you follow me on Instagram, make sure you subscribe to me if you're seeing this, uh, I will do a giveaway with those because I don't need this many boards. These feel heavier, actually. Like, I don't know how much of these have changed, but these feel heavier. Now, also, another thing. The plastics have gotten a lot better. Um, 
the plastics were made this time specifically in mind for them not breaking at where the pivot point is, where the pivot cup is on a real skateboard, because this one and both of these trucks did end up breaking, not until months after use, and I use my handboards a lot more than other people do, but they didn't, uh, these are meant to be more resistant, the tools are meant to work better, the plastics are all made better, these are supposed to be stronger, uh, the grip tape was changed, but besides that, not much more. Of course, I'm going to take a close-up of all this stuff, like a quick photograph and insert it, or a quick clip and insert it, but the box is always as cool as usual. I don't know if the box has changed, um, but you can check them out on hangnail.com, hangnailhb.com, and at hangnailhb on Instagram, and if this time... You know, I, I really need to start when I say I'm going to put a link to them, putting a link to them. But these boxes are always super cool. I mean, I don't save them, but exactly like Steezy and Lit had a baby with wheels. Well, I don't know, that's just kind of cool. The artwork's always kind of cool. And I'm really, really stoked to finish this video after the quick close-up. I am going to do... A few different tricks on this. I really, really suck, and I've been getting better and practicing a lot at um, varial heel flips and front side heel flip tricks. So after this, I'm going to do a front side heel, a fakey front side heel, then um, varial heel, fakey varial heel, laser, fakey laser, big heel, fakey heel. And for the clips to count, I want to do them back to back. So I want to do you know the fakey ver uh, regular version, then the fakey version back to back. But I feel like I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, and you know, I have a good stock, which is great. Uh, if you guys want to see a giveaway in the future, please let me know in the comments. And I, I just don't want one person commenting saying, hey, yeah, I want it, and they win by default. You know, I want like an actual little contest, but that's just me. So I'm going to get a close-up quick, get into the tricks, and that's the end of this video. Uh, I might not come back to talking, like as in the sense of an outro, but actually I will. So let's get into the close-up. YouTube. So this brings us to the end of the video. I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, of course, with new grip tape, just like in real skating and fingerboarding, anything, it was difficult to get some of the tricks. The kip flip and the smith took a little bit. Uh, I would get five of them, and then it would go south from there. But I'm sure I'll get used to it in a few days, maybe even now. But as always, guys, thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Big, huge thank you to Brian and Zyler over at Hangnail Handboards. Uh, definitely go check out their products. Definitely, they make quality, good, cheap handboards, which is definitely really hard to find out there. Um, of course, there is other companies, you know, like uh, Boss Handboards and Redemption, but their prices are a lot higher. So, if you're new to handboarding, if you're curious about handboarding, you can't go wrong with $20 in free shipping. Um, I haven't been on the website in a while, so the price might have changed because it usually says 25 and then slash 20. So, it might be 20 or 25, I'm not entirely sure. But definitely check them out. If you want, I'm going to leave a link in the description. And if I don't remember to put the link this time, please, someone tell me about it. I have a problem. I'm sure I'm not the only YouTuber. I know I'm not. But it's definitely annoying. As always, have a great day. Bonus clip. I'm going to try to heel flip over these four boards. Can I get a kickflip or is that asking too much? That was a good ollie. One more try at the kickflip. Ah, I gotta get it, man. Double flip. Whatever. Have a great day.